And if you die in your rebellion, if you die being a drunkard and smoking your weed, you're going to go to hell. And God wants you to understand this today, that you got a short time period, sir, to think about your soul. Because death is coming to you. It is appointed once for you to die. And then after that comes the judgment of God. It's appointed once for you to die, Mr. Empire Construction Man. And then after that comes the judgment of God. And there won't be no tough guys on the day of judgment. The majesty of Almighty God is going to humble the toughest man. And while you are still alive, you can get right with God too, man. God sucks. But you have to humble yourself. We have a lot of people out here, they are angry at God. They love the darkness. They are living in bitterness of the heart. They are living in unforgiveness. And they have a hatred towards God. Yet God still offers mercy to all those who are willing to humble themselves. Ma'am, you can put away the bitterness and you can come to God and God can heal the brokenness of your heart. But you have to be willing to come to Him. Don't be angry at God. He didn't do you anything. You have... No, ma'am. You need to come to the Lord. Your sin is what brought that upon your life. You have to come to the Lord. Ma'am, you got a lot of cussing in your heart. You have a filthy and corrupted heart. You didn't repent. You just were sorry for what you did. You didn't truly come to God. You can come to the Lord and God can heal the brokenness of your heart, ma'am. Come to Jesus, ma'am, before you die. This is the mercy of God reaching out to you. Yet you have to be willing to repent. For Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you are going to perish. That means if you do not turn to God, and get right with the Lord. When you die, you're going to be in big trouble. You're going to go to hell. Yet, you don't have to go to hell. You can humble yourself today. The message today for Gulf Breeze, Florida, is don't go to hell and get right with God. Humble yourself and repent. Turn away from your debauchery. Turn away from your drunkenness. Stop living your life for yourself and understand that you have to come to God and find forgiveness for your sins. If not, my friend, you are going to die in your rebellion. And I am warning you today that you're going to go to hell. This is what's going to happen to you at the end of your life if you die living a God-rejecting life. You die and you go to hell. All you got to do is open up the Bible, my friends. God doesn't want people to go to hell. This is why he sent his son Jesus to shed his blood on the cross. Jesus, he faced a horrible crucifixion so that you can find salvation for your soul. Jesus died for your sin. He was resurrected on the third day that you can find justification for your rebellion. Yet you have to come to the Lord. You have to turn away from your rebellion and come to God. Be convicted of your rebellious lifestyle and come to the Lord before it's too late because the time clock is ticking and time is running out. We are in the last days. Judgment is coming upon the nation of America, sir. And you need to wake up before it's too late. You need to wake up and get right with God before it's too late, sir. Because if not, you're going to die. And you're going to remember this preacher that was preaching to you on the side of the road, telling you to get right with God, turn to the Lord, find forgiveness for your sins. You're going to remember me in hell if you die without salvation. But there will be no more hope for you. If you die and you go to hell, sir, you stay in hell. That's it, my friend. You reject God and you go to hell in this life, that's it. It's over with for you. What's done is done. There's no second chances when you die in this life without God. You have one opportunity to come to the Lord. Yet you must repent, young men. You must get right with God. Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, 
you are going to perish. That means you're going to go to hell. That means you're going to be cast into the furnace of fire because of your rebellion. But the good news today is that you don't have to go to hell. The good news today is that God sent you a savior, sir. But you gotta humble yourself and put away your pride. We have a lot of God haters in this world. We have a lot of people, they hate God. They love the darkness and they rage against the preaching of God's word. The Bible says that this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world. Yet men, they love the darkness and they hate the light because their deeds are evil. Sir, that's why people don't come to the Lord, because they love the darkness. They love to watch their pornography. They want to pervert their minds with pornography. They want to smoke their cigarettes and drink their beer, and they want to smoke their weed, and they want to chase after money like money is everything. Sir, money is not everything. If you die without the salvation of God, your money will not go nowhere with you. You can't bring your money with you when you step out of this world. You have to find forgiveness for your sin. My friend, this is not a game. God is not playing games, Mr. Businessman. You got to come to the Lord and get right with God. Fear God and keep his commandments and turn to the Lord and find salvation for your soul. Come to God while there is still time. For God sent his son into the world. Not to condemn the world, Miss Laughing Lady, but that the world through him might be saved. God sent his son into the world so that you can find salvation. But you got to think about your life because there's a day you're going to die, ma'am. And you don't know when that day of death is coming. Death comes all of a sudden. You don't know when it's coming. It can come today. It can come tomorrow. But when it comes, my friend, and you step out of this world if you die without the salvation that comes through the atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ. God wants you to understand that you go to hell. Weed smokers, they go to hell. People that live for themselves, they chase after money. They live ungodly and unholy. The Bible warns you, you're on your way to hell. The Bible warns about the broad way that leads to destruction. And many people, they own the broad way that leads to destruction. When you look out into this generation, we are in a generation of people that are living ungodly and unholy. There are many people, they say they believe in God. They say Jesus, Jesus, but they live like the devil. They got filthy words coming out of their mouth. They commit sexual morality. And my friends, I am warning you today that no fornicator is going to enter into God's kingdom. If you are committing sexual sin, sir, you over there in that car, you are in big trouble with God and you need to repent from your sins and come to God before it's too late because you're gonna die. You can't run from God forever. You see, the world is trying to run from God, but sir, you can only run for so long because death is coming and I, when death comes, my friends, the running comes to an end. You can't run from God forever. It's appointed once for man to die. And then after that comes the judgment. It is appointed once for you to die. And then after that, you are going to stand before the judgment of God. And the only thing that's going to matter on that day is did you find salvation for your soul? Did you come to God and truly find forgiveness for your sins? Because if not, my friend, your life here is in vanity. All the fancy cars, it's all vanity. All the money that you make at your job, it's all vanity outside of the salvation of God because you make a little bit of money you get some nice material things, but then your life comes to an end and then you die without salvation and you go to hell. The Bible says, what is it that a man profits the whole world, but yet he forfeits his soul to hell? And this is what people do today. They 
chase after the temporal things of this life and they forfeit their souls to hell what is it that you live in your rebellion living ungodly and unholy for a short period of time and you die to stand before God and you get cast into hell because you have rejected God's salvation you have rejected his son Jesus Christ you have rejected holy living you chose to live in rebellion and you go to hell what is it my friend that you get a short period of time here to live but you die and you go to hell because you rejected your only way of salvation and that is Jesus my friends there is only one name given amongst men that we can be saved and that is Jesus Christ Jesus died for the sins of the world Jesus shed his blood so that you can find forgiveness for your sin yet you have to humble yourself and truly come to the Lord and believe in the gospel if not you're going to die and you're going to be judged the Bible says that he who believes has everlasting life but he who does not believe will not see life but the wrath of God abides upon them